A cervical laminectomy removes the spinous process and lamina from a vertebra to eliminate pressure on the spinal cord. The source of the pressure is often spinal stenosis, a condition in which there is a narrowing of the spinal canal that causes pressure on the spinal cord or nerves. After removing bone, instrumentation and bone grafts can be added to fuse the vertebrae and provide stability to the spine. An incision is made along the midline at the back of the neck. After the spine is exposed, surgical instruments are used to remove the spinous process and lamina from the affected vertebrae. Another variation of this step involves using a motorized instrument to cut a trough through the lamina on both sides of the vertebra and removing the lamina and spinous process as a single piece. A motorized instrument is used to remove the top layer of the articular processes at the sides of the vertebrae to prepare a site for fusing the vertebrae. The fusion will stabilize the spine where bone was removed. Before the bone grafting is done, instrumentation is added to the vertebrae. One method involves placing metal hooks along the back of the spine. The hooks are connected by rods, which are added to provide stability to the spine and prevent the vertebrae from moving while the bone graft fusion takes place. Bone grafting can be done with pieces of a patient's own bone, processed bone from a bone bank, or a bone graft substitute. To harvest a patient's own bone for grafting, a second incision is made over the back of the pelvis. Bone is removed from the iliac crest and placed along the prepared site where the top layer of bone was removed. This bone eventually grows in place, fusing the spine and providing additional stability. The incision is closed and dressed to complete the procedure. A cervical collar is often worn for six weeks following surgery. Patients should be careful to avoid heavy lifting and excessive neck motion during recovery. For a period of time, it's common to experience some pain where the bone graft was removed from the pelvis.